Hi everybody, Terry with American RV Nomad. Hey, I'm doing a little repair on my uh, solar system. I put in a Trimetric 2030 RV battery monitor and it was giving me some uh, faulty readings and I couldn't figure out why. So I came inside and I tore all the tape off of the wire loom so I could figure out what was going on. I don't know why they wrap them up in tape. You can't find if you have a problem. But I found it. And what we had, and I'll show you right there. You can see that bolt. Well, on the other side of it is a neutral wire ground. So it was going to ground. Normally that would be fine. But when you're using a shunt, 500 amp shunt off of your batteries to your meter, not such a good thing. You get faulty readings. So I ended up pulling it all apart, ended up taking one wire out completely so that I could wire it correctly. So now everything comes in to one dedicated post, then comes over to the shunt like it should, and I get accurate readings now. I have a 400 watt Renogy solar system. I have a 40 watt Renogy solar controller and an MT5 meter on which is right there. Well, I got this other battery tender so I could watch what was actually going on my amps and my watt usage and everything and it changed uh, when I put that one in because of that little ground up there. I don't know if you can see it now. Anyway, took that out. I now have perfect accurate readings. You can see I've got my uh, shutoff switches and fuses for my solar, for my battery, and for my 12 volt system. I'm getting ready to put in a 3000 watt inverter, which I had installed previously and I took it out. I was having some issues, I got it taken care of, and then I made this cord that I can plug in right to the side of my unit. And I plug those two plug-ins right there, and I do one on each bank. Each bank has 20 amps, just like my generator, which I use a Honda 2800 watt, and each circuit on the is 20 amp. Now, the three-prong does not give you a full 20 amp, and it will not run my, all, my uh, air conditioner. I plug that cord into each one of those plug-ins, I can run my air conditioner, I can run my microwave, I can run everything off of it. So it makes up for those cloudy days when I can't do anything else. I have a thousand watt inverter over there that runs the television system in the living room. I have another 450 watt inverter in the bedroom which runs the television up there. I can run for days without ever having to fire up the generator. Uh, I have four six volt batteries in this box that's vented. I tied it in. I have a 12 volt over here that I keep as a reserve. Do not have it tied into the system, but I do keep it charged. And that is a backup system in case something should go wrong and I need to turn the heat on or to keep that refrigerator going or I need a battery for my truck. So I've got that as a backup and that's all that is for. It is not tied into the system at all whatsoever. So as I said, I have the Trimetric 2030 RV and if you're gonna buy that, buy the RV unit. Don't waste your money and just buy the, the 2030. The only difference between the two units is the RV comes in a box. So that gives you the option of flush mounting it, or you can remove the box and you can recess it. When I put the wires, pull the wires in, which is nothing more than Cat5, I also pulled in the data cable. So if I want to move my MT5, I'll put it right here and I can recess it also, or I can flush mount it. It gives me that option. So now I have an accurate reading. Right now I'm sitting at 13.1 volts. I'm only using one amp and I have 99% on my battery. So everything is working perfect as it should and I couldn't be happier. Just wanted to give you a heads up that if you're going to do this, put this battery meter in, you have to make sure you don't have any other ground wires going to your chassis frame. They all have to go to the shunt Otherwise, you're not going to get accurate readings. It'll show 1% battery, 
percentage or 29% battery percentage and then an hour later it's full. It just doesn't give you an accurate reading so you have to have everything come back to the shunt as they tell you and this 2030 RV unit is absolutely phenomenal for keeping track of what you're using. I hope that was informative. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Be glad to hear from you. Thank you.